Hey, what is going on pros and pro S's? Mr. Lyman HD here and welcome to a, another drinks review. Before we get into this drinks review, you can save 10% on X Gamer products by using code Mr. Lime, or you can save 10% discount on Excite Energy products using code BioLia. Both of the links and stuff will be in the description below. So today we are reviewing uh, another Rockstar drink actually, and this one is simply their original, but They've released these new uh, kind of line of drinks. And this is 25% more taste and 25% more caffeine versions. So that would be really interesting. Now, we all, knew, we all know caffeine is just caffeine. It doesn't really taste of anything. And then the, the 25% more taste is really interesting. So we'll have to see how that plays out. But before I get into that, just so we have a bit of comparison. So originally, they did the kind of original kind of full rock stars it was back in the day which had 13.5 grams of sugar 67.5 grams of sugar in here so there was kind of the original and i'll put the link to that in the description below that's an old video so the quality is bad on that and then they re-released it with kind of this carbon fiber effect can and this was a reformulated superior taste version of the original which had 12 grams of sugar and 59 59 grams in total and then they released this one the 25 percent more taste 25% more caffeine version, which we'll have to see how it goes. So I've got this particular drink out of, uh, I think this one was out of Tesco actually, because they're still priced about 99p, and it was either out of Corner Shop or Tesco, because I know Tesco have got these 25% more taste ones. No, this one was out of a Corner Shop, because it is 99p, because I've got the other flavour in my fridge there, as I looked, and that hasn't got the 99p around the top. So this one was from a Corner Shop, but I've seen them in Tesco as well. Let's give you guys a full 360 of the can. So we have kind of the original Rockstar, kind of just all black, you know, no carbon effect, nothing like that. Literally just the original black and white, yellow Rockstar thing. Kind of refreshing to have it kind of simple because we're so used to all the flashy cans up here now in colours. It's kind of just nice to have something simple, just plain black for once. Uh, on the back, on the bottom, we have nothing. And on the top, everything is all silver, apart from the pool ring, which is in black. So taking a closer look of the can, like I said, we have 25% more taste and more uh, caffeine at the top, and it says 200 milligrams of caffeine per can. We have down the sides, caffeine, guana, uh, B vitamins, ginseng, and taurine. And then apart from that, we just kind of have the stuff on the back, which we'll read now. So even though it says 25% more taste, and it has got two stars next to that there, I don't know if you can see that, and it's got down here versus previous recipe, so bear in mind, Bearing in mind that was the previous recipe, we'll be assessing to see how it goes because these are still half sugared. So the sugar content is 4.8 grams per 100 ml. So the total can contains 24 grams of sugar. So it's half sugar. So if they claim it's got more taste, then we'll have to find out. Uh, vitamins are niacin, vitamin B6, and B12, but no panophenic acid. Caffeine content is indeed 40 milligrams per 100 ml instead of the usual 32. But Will those extra 8 milligrams of caffeine be the difference between winning, winning the Olympics or not? Don't think so. And apart from that, there is nothing else on the can of any interest. We will check for sweeteners though as well. And they are sewer close and a sulfur case. So no aspartame, which is good. So anyways, it's nice and cold. I have got a cup. Got my Mr. Lime in the HD review cup. Let's get straight into it. Hopefully it does not explode over me. So it's been a while since I've had kind of original Rockstar. I don't really see about a bunch of them. I haven't seen them original ones for ages and then these popped up. So original Rockstar is really like, not that popular. They more people tend to stick uh, more people tend to stick to the fruity ones. So yeah, we'll have to see. So I'm guessing the colour that I mean it is pretty much gonna be like a kind of original flavour and standard and stuff, but we'll have to find out what they've done with this. Don't explode. There we go. So I'm guessing the colour is going to be the usual kind of apple type colour, which normal kind of original energy drink flavours are, and the smell and taste. Well, like I said, we'll have to find out. There we go. Surprise, surprise on the colour. Kind of could have guessed that a million miles off. So quite a lot of small bubbles on the side there, and a fair amount of bubbles on the top, although they went fairly quick. But yeah, definitely a lot of bubbles sticking to the side. The colour, yes, is indeed just a standard apple colour. Although this definitely looks more yellowy. Uh, definitely looks more yellowy and brighter than maybe some of the other ones, which are a bit darker. Yeah, this definitely is on the brighter side, looking at the camera and all that. This is definitely more 
definitely more yellowy and uh, brighter rather than some of the other darker ones. So I couldn't smell it while pouring it out, so let's give it a closer smell now. It smells like, ew. It smells similar to like the, it smells similar to like a Euro Shopper smell. There's something else in there, very hintly, but it just, I'd straight away just smell Euro, Euro Shopper smell. Yeah. That's not a bad thing. Yeah, a little bit of Euro Shopper smell in there, but I guess it's not, it's not a really strong smell, but it's along the lines of kind of Euro Shopper rather than say like Boost, Boost or something like that. But yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's interesting. It's just it's just got that smell. Hmm. But nevertheless, guys, this will be interesting. Let's taste some. been ages since I've had an original flavour energy drink. Absolutely ages. So straight away I will tell you that that is because the, the things with these old style rock stars they have so much sugar in them. They were like kind of really really sweet. We all know how sweet the original guava was which is up there somewhere. That had like almost 80 grams of sugar which is ridiculous. But uh that's still fairly sweet, but it's not as sweet as I was expecting. So even though these are half sugar, like, it still feels like it's a full sugar drink, but it hasn't got that kind of, it hasn't got that extra kind of syrupiness to it. Like, syrupiness-wise, it's not that syrupy, which is nice. There's still a bit of syrup in there, as I can kind of see. But it's definitely not as syrupy as, say, like a, like a Monster Original, for example. And in terms, but instead of, like, sugar sweetness, it's actually spot on there. I guess that's probably about right. It's, so it's not like under sugar sweet, but it's not kind of overly sugar sweet as well. So it's bang, bang right in the middle. So they've got the sugar balance really good there in terms of the sweetness coming from the sugar. Uh, so the sweetness is nice, but the flavour itself, well, ultimately, yes, it is an original flavour blend, whatever you want to call it. But if I was going to pair it to the other two, because the other, the older ones had like so much you know, they had so much sugar and so much this. This seems to be more of a relaxed, nicer version, but whether that overall makes it 25% more taste better, which is a really, to be honest, if you think about it, is a really weird kind of statement to say. Like, how did they even come up with 25%? Did they, like, test it on, like, a thousand people and say, oh, it's 25% better? Like, I don't... That's a really weird figure to come up with if you think about it. But I like it. And I think I find with this though, as say an original, as an original flavour, I find this has got Rockstar's nice little mix in it because if I was to say to compare this to like say, you know, Boost, Euroshop, or even Red Bull, this does taste completely different in terms of the actual flavour. Like, even, like I said, even though it's an original, it's a Rockstar's original and you know that. Kind of like, you know Red Bull is kind of like, as it is, but then like, you know, the Euro Shopper and the Boosts and the Emerges and stuff like that, they are kind of more on the cheaper line of your standard flavour. But this seems to be more of an upmarket original flavour, which it should be because it's branded. But like I said, because Rockstar, their original blend isn't really that popular anymore, not really that kind of kind of out there and don't really want that drinks it. It's, it's actually made me realise how kind of different and nice the, the standard flavour can be. And because, you know, for example, you know, Monster Monster Original, it's Monster. It's not trying to be a Air Shopper or an Emerge or a Boost. You know, Relentless Original, well, that does taste disgusting. But again, that does taste completely different to like a Euro Shopper, a Boost. You know, and then Red Bull, it's, again, Red Bull, it's its, its own kind of standard, but in, in the Red Bull way. But this, this is like a completely, again, like a reinvented standard flavour, but a premium version. Again, as I could arguably say, similar to in Red Bull's way, but I find with the Rockstar blend they've got back here, it's just as an original blend. I've I, I don't think I've tasted an original blend like that for a long time. It just tastes completely different, but in a nice way. And it's got it's like there's a little bit of like that that sweetness Rockstar blend in there, and I can't describe it to you because of 
because of how the drink is, but it's just nice. Like I'm drinking it, you get that good medium sweetness of flavour, the good medium sugar flavour. And then aftertaste again, you're left with that kind of sweet aftertaste, but not too much flavour in the aftertaste, to be honest with you. Um, in fact, let me try some out the can quickly. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely more relaxed, but in a nice way. So, so I think with this drink, I definitely would pick that up again, and because of the half sugar, I definitely would pick that up again and try it. But I think the whole twenty-five percent more taste compared to the original. Well, I don't know how that's all going to work. I'm not giving my opinion on plus twenty-five percent more, because bear in mind there's also a twenty-five percent more uh, blueberry pomegranate ex ex uh, exuderance one, and a twenty-five percent more. Uh, guava one as well, which are in there in my fridge ready to review. So it'll be interesting to see what they've done to them because that guava was the most sugariest. So we'll have to see when they're done. I'll put them in the description below as well when they're all uploaded. But I'd say I wouldn't class this 25% better. I'd just say overall it's just nicer for not being as as sugary and as over the top as the previous one. So, but yeah, interesting, interesting really how they come up with the figure and stuff. But nevertheless, it is nice. I would buy that again. Something completely different. 25% more. I'd like to see the other brands kind of come up with a weird statement like that. But there we go. So it does get a thumbs up from me, guys. So as always, thank you for watching. And I will see you all later.